Howdy folks, Justin here. We are hopping on the ladder with Midrange Life Gain Crusader. Uh, why? Um, I was just running through some stuff, I was taking a look at the meta, and I feel like this deck does a pretty good job of racing other midrange strategies. Um, and with the addition of Cradle Crush Giant, I think has some uh, additional sticking power against tokens, which sometimes were good, you know, matchups, sometimes were bad matchups, very draw dependent in the past. And, uh, yeah, I went back old school, old school version of this deck from about a year ago with the Sentinels, the Sampede Sentinels, which I've been enjoying playing. So, let's see how we do today against our first opponent, Seth XPX, playing Archer. I think we're just going to try to beat him down. I mean, uh, he's almost certainly a Rage Archer. Um, yeah, we'll start with a Rift Thane. I will push them back. Okay. <clears throat> Rift Thane, fantastic card. 4-2 or 2-4. One of my favorites. Turn 1 Plunder, huh? Uh, we will just drop down Protector of the Innocent in the same lane. We'll see how they like oh, someone and if we need to, we can Cloud of Solutionist next turn. We can Dawnstar Healer, although I don't think I want to do that right now. Or we can Hive Defender. We have quite a few options. Let's see what Let's Seth is bringing to the table. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to Cloud of Solutionist. Get that off the board. Go face. He might have another Skaven Pyromancer. If he does, that's you know not ideal, but at least we got that one Skaven off the board. Rapid shot. Sure. Okay, more cool Gatekeeper. Alright. Um, another Dawnstar Healer. Let's just remove that. Swing face and probably play Hive Defender. Sharpshooter Scout. Okie dokie. <laughs> so maybe maybe it's a Rothgar Forge deck. You run Plunder to synergize with the Red Guards um, that care about being equipped with items. What have we here? Thieves Guild Recruit. Mace of Encumbrance. Sure. Do we just drop down two Dawnstar Healers? Let's heal. I'll drop down one Dawnstar healer. As well as threaten what he has going on over here. If it is Rothgar, we have Dushnik Yell Archers. Okay. See no duplicates yet, so it could be. Close ranks, let nothing through. Don't miss that this is a singleton deck. I'm gonna gain um, only a, you know the three life instead of the six because I'd rather be closer to my prophecies and my extra card draw. See what happens. Blood running hot. Ayala the Huntress. Okay. Sure. Move in shadow. We have lethal. That was my mistake. Sure. Don't mess with me. All right, good game, man. Getting it done and finishing the game at 37, 40 life. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> oh, it's been too long. I love playing this deck. Um, we'll be right back for right, we're back for a second game. But real quick, I wanted to give you a heads up. I played some practice games before this because I wasn't sure that this strategy was going to be good. Uh, and this, these are the games we've played so far with this deck. Um, it's going pretty well. The strategy seems pretty well fit for the current meta. And let's hop on in for another one. Um, yeah. So, if you guys don't know, uh, just a little quick update. Charmer and I do a weekly podcast on Fridays, some, most of the time Fridays, sometimes Saturdays, uh, over on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash Charmer. Um, we, it's about two hours long, it's called Fun and Interactive, the Elder Scrolls Legends podcast. I encourage you to check that out. Our next opponent is Robbie Sin, the Dovahkiin, who's playing Monk. 
I don't think I've faced a monk yet since I started playing this deck again. Let's see what they got. Uh, they have the ring, among other things. Keep the Rift Thane, keep the Burma Profiteer. And uh, go from there. Stampede Sentinel card I really enjoy. Um, I love these rules setting kind of things. Like, uh, you can't be damaged by actions and supports. And it, sort of like with the Dawnstar Healers, it gives you the ability to go a little bit harder, go a little bit bigger, um, and push a little bit further, since you don't have to worry about, in Stampede Sentinel's case, uh, Lightning Bolt Prophecies. To your face, at least. Not to mention, it's a 7-7 breakthrough for 6. There is a toll for this road. Oh, man. Okay. Well, um, this is going to be pretty satisfying. There's a plan. There's always a plan. Get that damage in there. Uh, and I would love for him to drop a Hive Defender next turn. The original purpose of Cloud Resolutionist in this deck was this very situation where we get to just eat Hive Defenders. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case this time. Um... Hmm. I'm going to play Scape Pyromancer, even though I, I wish I could play Cloud or Solutionist. Let's see if we get a Prophecy. We do. Let's see if it changes anything. Another Moonlight Werebat, perhaps. Piercing Javelin. Okay. Just throw that out there. He's going to gain some more life back. Pretty old school list from our opponent so far. Another five drop. Protector of the main. Okay. Let's draw an execute. On star healer is not an execute. Um, I could cloud rest illusionist swing at that, or I could cloud rest illusionist swing at that. I think I need to. Well, I could play. Is there any reason to play both of these? Not really. Alright, this doesn't look great for us. Doesn't look great for us at all. Um, maybe I should have played that over there. Dawnbreaker. <laughs> okay. Alright. You have a 10 4. Ravenous Hunger. Behold my power. That's a hell of a thing, ain't it? Put a couple of four power creatures over there. See what happens. That guy got out of control quickly. If I had more removal that could deal with that in the deck in general, I might just put those those over here so that he would go face. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Do you have a way to kill this? Because that will that would be absolutely tragic. No. No curse? Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, well, he's back up to 40 life. More power to him. That's pretty impressive. This deck is capable of some stuff like that as well. Uh, with the Dawnstar healers and stuff, but... Now he has... Uh, Three times more cards than I do in hand. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Is this a Ring of Namira deck, perhaps? For the Emperor. Okay. Take my breakthrough. Dark Brotherhood is a pox, and I okay. Is what it is. I'll hold on to both of those. I think this game is going to go a little bit longer than we thought it was initially. What have they been keeping safe? Ruthless freebooter. No sure. Sorry about the random cat noises. Green touched spriggan. All right, this guy's a rock star. Behold my power. Okay. Did not draw a drain or a lethal creature, which is good. Real good for us. 
What do we got? For the Emperor. Penitus Oculatus Agent. Sure. Regini Highwayman. Holding on to Vigilante in situations like this always feels so good. They fought our blessing. It's pretty good, too. Alright. Gonna push some damage. Obviously, this has to be the kill. Uh, another Hive Defender is pretty nice. There's nowhere they can hide. Behold my power. Don't mess with me. I'll kill you where you stand. Behold my power. The hunter becomes the hunted. Okay. Board is in a little bit more manageable of a state. Anasi finds it useful to use her Yeah. Charge and guard is good. <laughs> and another green touch to Friggin. Okay. On balance, it, I would guess the cards in our deck are more powerful than the card in his, cards in his. But I guess we're going to find out. I think we probably don't swing face here at all. I'm worried about it. If he goes face at all, we draw cards. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. He drew a creature with drain. It's not great for us. He drew Undying Dragon. Holy crap. Okay, we get a chance to draw good stuff here. But damn, he just went off. Ravenous Hunger's not going to do it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, there's Reeve. How much damage are we looking at next turn? He goes face for five... I think we might just be dead next turn, actually. The hunter becomes the hunted. By the aid, a fine battle. Behold my power. So we have to gain the life here. Don't mess with me. Honor and blood. At a twenty-nine. At a thirty-two. Let me kill. All right, let's see what happens here. Gains 10, swings for 14 with both of those. We don't have javelins in the deck. We might just be dead. Um, prophecies that we can hit are guard creatures. So we could hit... Let's see what happens here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You don't want to swing for 7. Okay. 15 and 15. Close ranks. Let nothing through. Okay. Let's see if that's good enough. By the aid of <laughs> fine battle. Do you have Tazcad? <laughs> okay. You got it, man. We'll be right back for another one. <laughs> All right, we're back for another one with mid-range life gain crusader. Um, after a, uh... <laughs> it was definitely a game. After a, after a game against a uh, life gain spriggan deck. Um, how did we screw that up? Uh, there were a couple changes, a couple things we could have done differently, but I was still just sort of dazed by my whole experience, having never, ever, ever faced that card on the ladder, much less lost to it. All right, good for my opponent. Our uh, next opponent is BC Born playing Archer. Let's see what they're rocking today. I assume it's Rage Archer. They have the ring. Uh, I don't want to keep Rapid Shot. I don't want to keep more Quick Keeper. We have a number two drops. So I'm gonna draw some of those. Grizzly Gourmet is not bad. Uh, this one's really for the Sorcerer and Warrior matchups. Bruma Profiteer is pretty great. See what they do. They do nothing. 
Second Grizzly Gourmet. So where do we get Grizzly Gourmet value in this match? I mean, obviously there are Fighters Guild recruits in the world. <laughs> if I fall, they hiss. <laughs> okay. So it, I actually am fairly certain I'm still going to get Archer's Gambited and lose my Grizzly Gourmet. But I think it's better than what could have happened. There's Cradle Crush Giant, card I enjoy playing. There's a Quicksilver Crossbow. Yeah, you got it, man. You got it. Uh, Stampede Sentinel. I could just Earthbone Spinner that. Just get it off the board. You won't foil my plan. The forest yeah, I'm alright with that. Crazy stuff just happened there. I saw a bunch of animation that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Another perfect target for Grizzly Gourmet. No, you're going to lane change it because you know I run the Grizzly Gourmets. No, you're not. Okay. You're going to close call it. Huh. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I'm just going to do that, that, and that. Develop my board. Uh, Cradle Crush Giant not looking great on this board, of course. Yep. Lane change it over here. It's bad for you. Quicksilver Crossbow, so I can't lane change it. Okay, well, I'll trade this guy in and play a... Uh, play a Stampede Sentinel. And that's quite a bit of beef to lay down on one turn. There's Belligerent Giant. I assume it's Belligerent Giant anyway. Sorry again about the cat noise. Okay. You can't lane change and rage next turn. You can't even play rage next turn. So, swing. Hit a Prophecy. It's a Moonlight Werebat, so I will swing again, hit another Prophecy. Wow. I'm going to have Cradle Crush Giant. <laughs> guy's pretty good at hitting Prophecies. See if he lane changes with a uh, Archer's Gambit. He Underworld Vigilante's my guy. Okay. Wants to push damage face, I guess. In case I have another Cradle Crush Giant. Okay. I can scaven that away. Play a Hive Defender. Just keep him off stuff. Alright. What we got next? It's definitely a rage deck. I I have to admit the uh, Moonlight Werebats threw me for a loop. The close calls are interesting, unless it's just like the worst draw ever fall, from. Okay, for a. Uh, Market deck. I will prepare something special for them. Another prophecy. <laughs> okay. I am ready to join the circle. Sure. Man, do I wish the I had another cradle crush mine. giant. I'll kill you where you stand. So while unstoppable rage would gain him a ton of life, it wouldn't it wouldn't be awesome for him either. Okay. Right. Casting at a time. Territorial Viper. Cliff Racer. And dead. Sweet. Well, if he gives us a chance, we will give our Grizzly Gourmet the killing blow. He's done a lot of work here. Yeah, good game, brother. 
by the end of farm battle. All right. We'll be right back for another one. All right, back for one last game with Midrange Life Gain Crusader. Let's see how we do. Um, been doing really well. I think we've lost two and won eight or nine at this point. Let's see what our opponent has in store for us next. I have to admit, I'm, I do kind of miss the prophecy on Piercing Javelin. I think casting time generally is where we want to be. But, well, I could be mistaken about that. That might be a poor choice on my part. Our opponent is Armandon, the war hero, playing Scout. Okay. I'm. It blows my mind when people still continue to play Scout. We don't need Ravenous Hunger in this matchup. Uh, deck's not particularly well suited for playing against Scout, actually. Um, casting the time, I guess, might have some value here, but we will see. Stampede Sentinel. No plays yet. We do have Broomer Prophet here, Protect the Innocent, Ravenous Hunger, and Rift Thane for two drop creatures. If I fall, okay. Unless you run lane change cards, I don't understand that play. I haven't seen Reeve in any of my games, I don't think. Maybe I played him once and it didn't matter. Okay. Whisper your need to the scales. Okay, so you very well might have lane change cards. Close ranks. Let nothing well, let's find out if he does. If he does have a lane change card, both the lane change cats are susceptible to Scaven Pyromancer. And leaving him with a 3 4 in play isn't at the end of the world. Just trades it off. Okay. Just give me a name. Brotherhood Slayer. Burma Prophet here. It's kind of an uncomfortable position we're in. I'm going to force him to find a way to deal with this. Tyr, I think, still the strongest prophecy in the game. Is that maybe Dark Harvester? <laughs> Sanctuary Pet. Sure. So now it's a Sanctuary Pet. It. An Underworld Vigilante. Or I could play both of these. Playing Skaven only harms me. There's a plan. We're going to roll like that. We'll lose tier. This is some kind of slay tempo type deck. Sure. You going to swing face? I mean, I'm kind of like telling you don't swing face. Like, it's a bummer that these are the only creatures I had to play. It's got a six drop. Need to get mother some flowers. Right. I think even though cat Cicero is like the worst cast in the time target, you do swing face. Okay. Wow, I'm shocked that that happened. So, yeah, I mean, like it sucks that I have to cast in time this, but I have to cast in time this. Okay. We have a little bit on board. We're slightly behind in life, and we have an equal number of cards in hand. We got some big stuff here. Venom Tongue, this is just lethal dot deck. Uh, what if I Underworld Vigilante into that? I can't play anything else. Let's play Scaven Pyromancer and Hive Defender. Even if, even if he lane changes it now, he's going to lose his guy, get a one for one. I don't know what this deck ramps into. Got a Murkwater Witch to keep that value going. Okay. Praise to our unholy and a Lucian Lachance. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a 3 3 now. And I can't kill off my old, own guy. Do I Underworld Vigilante into that piece of garbage? <laughs> I'll kill you I believe I do. There's nowhere they can hide. Okay. I can trade into this. I'm behind. I do have a pretty big bomb creature here. It's the biggest creature in my deck. The night is mine. You run Night Talon Lord. What? <laughs> Why? Uh. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Okay, so we took all the Knight Talon Lords out of his deck. <laughs> Whisper your need to the scales. Just give me a name. Yep. Just give me a name. Okay. I can try to start cleaning this up with Stampede Sentinel. Alright. He is going to get a card when I break through with Stampede Sentinel. It's nothing Grim personal. Champion. <laughs> where up? Where am I? W what's happening? So this is going to get big. That's pretty good. A little distraction might prove the useful. day is mine. <laughs> So he's up on cards, and he can trade into my 7-4. I stand to serve. Verma armor. Brother of the sanctuary. Takes the greedy play. Cradle crush giant one time. Oh, called it. Get wrecked, dude. Okay. Uh, next turn, we go face for uh, 20. Okay. Is there any way we get this, like, severely punished for going face for 13? I don't really feel like... I mean, maybe I should cast those into time. Behold my power. We hit a prophecy. A frostbite spider. Okay. Okay. Steal from folks who ain't you. Falkry Defiler, Serpentine Stalker. That's game. Wow. Well, kudos to my opponent for doing something sweet. Behold my power. All right. Is it like a weird deck day today? I mean, I'm in. All right, one more, and then uh, I'm going to come back with this deck in a couple days after I reflect on what I should change with it. Um, I'm definitely enjoying it. It's been playing pretty well. No matches have felt unwinnable. I will definitely say that. Uh, Denalfian is playing Warrior. This is a matchup I wanted to get. I want to see... Now I can do against this deck. We have the ring. We have Bruma, and I'm keeping Hive Defender. Casting the time. I mean, look, casting the time's great against Sower of Revenge, but I'd rather have stuff to do first. Do we ring out Bruma? If we draw another two drop, definitely. I feel like we just need to get ahead on life and race with the right curve. A couple Hive Defenders are going to be okay. I mean, I'm just assuming that this is the warrior aggro mid-range thing that everyone's playing. Skaven. Not, like, the greatest 3-drop. But it's a card. Only Rapid Shot really kind of punishes me for Skavening my own guy, I think, in this match. And Sharpshooter Scout, which I guess I have seen before. <clears throat> no play. Another Hive Defender. Right. Flag. Well, I look like a bit of an idiot for ringing that out. Maybe he picks up that I have a Scaven Pyromancer in hand. If not, I'm just going to start playing a bunch of Hive Defenders. <laughs> the waters of life. Okay. Well, it's something different. You won't foil and I can flag. appreciate that. Let's draw a... What do we want to draw? We want to draw a Cloud Rest Illusionist so I can execute his 5-drop. Uh, <laughs> Man, if, there, if this was an aggro deck, right? Like, isn't this just like the magical fantasy hand? <sighs> we 
What do we got? Denalfian. Denalfane. Not the practice I wanted against the uh, popular warrior deck. Uh, am I disconnecting from the internet? Let me refresh Twitter. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Opponent slow rolling us. They're the Walker Mundus. They're going to hit one of our Hive Defenders. That's not great, but it's also not the end of the world. Um, Grizzly Gourmet, more not ideal stuff we drew. Swing, swing, Hive Defender. Okay. Just gonna push damage. What are we worried about? I don't know. I don't know what he might be running. We have a really reactive hand. Huh. Rage Warrior. Rage Ramp Warrior. No swing at our guy. I mean, I don't know what else to do. You won't foil my plan. We'll see how they like someone who fights back. Except just swing face. He's one turn off of rage still. I don't have anything to play. Grizzly Gourmet executed just looking so awful here. <laughs> Probably eats this, but he would have eaten it for free probably over here. So. Maybe I could play Skaven, but if he's running Skavens of his own, I want to keep damage off my own creatures. Yep. Still have eight. Uh, that's not a good sign. What? What's the plan here? <laughs> Let's see your Battlefield Scrounger. Let's make Dude, come on. <laughs> okay. I drop power from these trees. Okay, hiss the speaker. That's something I can kill with all this stuff. Dishnik Yell Archer. I might just save that to try to ping him in the face. As long as I draw breath. Okay. You won't Okay. Okay. I don't think I want to play any of this. Should I execute this? <laughs> okay. I just need to draw... I got a <laughs> Underworld Vigilante? I got a 3 in 41 chance of drawing it. Yeah. You can swing three times of that. I'm gonna swing for three and ping you to death with the Shinkyal Archer. Seems pretty sweet. <laughs> Did I call that or what? Alright. Good times, man. You won't foil my plan. Good times. Dushnik Yal Archer. Fantastic addition to the Fantastic Fours. <laughs> Alright, just to get a... Because I really would like to hunt down and play against that, um... Aggressive, uh, warrior deck. I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> you know, the deck's been performing well. It's good. It's a good deck. It was a good deck, it's still a good deck. So we're playing against Jorge, who's playing a Spellsword deck. I think we crush Spellsword tokens, and we probably lose against Spellsword Control, unless we have just like an exceptionally aggressive hand. Um, and this this hand's pretty aggressive. Kind of want to see what the tokens matchup is like, though. Mulligan's all his cards. 
What does that mean? No marked man. Okay, we lead with Riftane. We hope to draw a Cloud Resolutionist so we can swing into his uh, Hive Defender when he hits one of those. Although, with Morkel Gatekeeper, we can hit, hit it for six. I'm just in the interest in putting power on the board. I don't care if it has drain. No turn one, turn two play means I just need to push damage. And it also gives me two ways to more cool into a no hive defender. Ooh, that's not what I expected at all. Um. For we must protect our stronghold. That seems pretty strong. So this is tokens with the worst hand ever, or some kind of mid-range deck. It has like three Halfinger Marauders in hand or something like that. There's the Hive Defender. Do we draw the Don the Illusionist? We did not. That's okay though. Um, Close ranks. Let nothing through. They're in my sight. Just kill off all his creatures. We had a prophecy. The victory is yours. And he concedes. Well, that's about what I expected the token matchup to be like, but if you're, yeah, I'm shaking in my boots. Uh, we'll be right back for another one because that didn't. All make right, it. back for one last game with mid-range life gain crusaders. Still looking for the matchups we actually built the deck to try to compete against. See if we can find them. Um, just figured it'd be good to get one more game in. Cryptos Cattleman is our opponent. Let's see what Cryptos is playing. I mean, obviously very pleased with the deck. I'm like 2 and 8 or something like that. Uh, Cryptos playing Archer. The Kingslayer. We always want the ring in this deck. We did not get it. I kind of want to keep Black Dragon just because it's immune to lethal. There's Cradle Crush Giant. Pass the turn. A rift thing is a good draw. What have we here? Opponent coming out hard. I'm gonna rift thing into that lane. We get punished by rapid shot. Punished pretty hard by rapid shot, but I think that's okay. So we're a little bit slower, a little bit less um, one-dimensional than, um, you know, the warrior aggro deck. There's the Sanctuary Pet. Let's draw and execute. Reeve. Well, we'll rapid shot this. Underworld Vigilante. Okay. So I think we get Reeve down before we get Underworld, before we get Black Dragon down. Sure. Um, it's a good draw. Just need to get this off the table so we can't lane change it around and do annoying stuff with it. And another Cloud Resolutionist is the ultimate draw here. Okay. So, over, over a year ago now, I guess. Um, when I first started playing Midrange Crusader, uh, Cloud Resolution is not a card you saw a whole lot of. I mean, now it's obviously everywhere that can run it, but still as powerful now as it was then. So this is a rage deck. This is Game Empire Mancer. Sure. I kind of just want to play Reeve still, swing face for eight. There we go, I can play tier. We get a prophecy on the first rune. Fair enough, we did the same thing to him. There's a fighter skill to recruit. Uh, th oh, that's so frustrating. I'm gonna put a black dragon instead. In order to Archer's Gambit this, he has to move this to this lane, and then I can remove them all from his deck. Brotherhood Sanctuary. Well, now I don't know what's happening. 
The forest will not suffer your presence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep. My scales move in shadow. Chaos thank you. So I'm gonna go face for nine if I can, and then cradle crush giant that lane. I am death. Behold my power. Because I want that off the table. Okay. Yeah, I'm all thumbs. What slay creatures? So is this just tried to, to go off with rage? So the minute I see a raging creature, I need to cast it into time. I'll lead my family to glory. Astrid. Okay. Yeah. That'll get you a couple contracts. <laughs> That'll get you three contracts. Yep. I'm still swinging face for four. Oh, my world for an execute. What? There's loot here, Skywag. Uh, okay. Smell it. Okay. Grizzly Gourmet. Awesome draw. I will prepare something special for them. Let me yeah, kill all bombs. Okay. And what did he draw? He drew a creature. <clears throat> There's nothing you can play Rage on that would matter. Um, I have an Underworld Vigilante for four from hand. There's a Child of Her Scenes. This is just a strange Rage deck. Yeah, I'm all thumbs. Yep. We've, a fine display. We it's have really removed power. all of his... Like, particularly relevant guard creatures. There's another cast of time. Prophecy guard, and then I kill him with Underworld Vigilante. Just give me a name. Yeah. yeah I'm all thumbs. Good game, man. By the a hold my Gotta give him credit for putting an original spin on that deck. Alright, just so there's some variety, I'm gonna play another game, and then I'll compile some of the more interesting games. Um, I Like I said, I, I played eight games before I started recording, and uh, hopefully I include that video where I mentioned that. And, um... Went seven and one. Um, so we'll see how we do here. Uh, and I want to get a variety of games in these videos. Rex I Ray playing Assassin. I don't know if we've played an Assassin on camera yet. Um, yeah. I'm going to keep Execute for. Excuse me, Daggerfall Mage. Let's see what Rex the Nimble has got going on. Okay, we don't have anything going on. We do go pretty, pretty big. I mean, the Black Reeve, the Black Dragon, Tear, Cradle Crush Giant, Stampede Sentinel are all big. Uh, I don't really feel like executing that. I'm just going to play we'll Protect the Innocent. I assume we can race an Assassin deck. And next turn I can Earth One Spinner or Execute or do whatever. Sets masterwork. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> totally in. Cloud Resolutionist. Okay, so we're gonna Earthbound Spinner then. We can Cloud Resolutionist execute anything he plays next turn. Um, I think. I mean, my impression is that most people who build Singleton decks don't include nearly enough prophecies. Okay, so we swing first. A Cloud rest. Execute. Swing. I always try. I mean, I frankly almost include every prophecy I can run when I build a singleton deck. Lightning bolt. High rock summoner. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I think we're. I think we're definitely in for a stampede sentinel. I imagine that's difficult for him to remove. We might be able to cobble lethal next turn with three, seven, four. Which is not lethal. But we, it is the three over here. <laughs> I 
maybe a harpy here. Storm Atronach. Let's see if a firebolt or a prophecy you're gonna die here. Um The day is mine. As long as I draw breath. Alright, turn six win. That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, after good. a win that fast, I gotta play another one. We've had a couple of real fast wins here. Okay. Let's see what we got. Our opponent, Pinion, is playing. Uh, Scout, the Lone Warrior. Scout, not a deck we put this deck together even considering, to be honest with you. Let's see what kind of situation we find ourselves in. I think the ring is pretty essential, since our whole plan is beat down. I am not excited about Ravenous Hunger in this matchup either. Part of the reason, in fact, that I included Ravenous Hunger is because I just didn't count on seeing any scouts. <laughs> there is no matchup I think this card is worse than, than this one. I guess it's pretty bad in the Merrick matchup, too. Uh, and and I guess the mirror. <laughs> Let's see what happens though. Opponent making some decisions here. Keeps two cards. Welcome, friend. Now what scout keeps? Greetings. It's always interesting. Riftane's great. Riftane is a uh, ravenous hunger that I'm not ashamed to play on turn one. I mean, if we want to just pummel him, if I fall, the will be execute one time. Grizzly gourmet, I will take a grizzly gourmet I'm all grizzly day, and we'll kill it because you never know. What have we here? Okay, I think a thief's. I think I s slammed myself right into that. There's tear. There's a play. There's always a play. We are just pushing as much damage as humanly possible. Try to get in under multiple green shouts or giant bats. There's first giant bat. You go here. Okay. Uh, Skaven, not looking great on this board. <laughs> swing, 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 tier. To protect our four power creature from another giant bat. Leaf Lurker is, I mean, we're still going to push a lot of damage if you Leaf Lurkers. I would protect. Preserve of the root. Word wall. Okay. Word wall kind of scares me. Let's do this. I'm so tempted to actually just more call into that. I think that's the responsible play. Let's do this. You won't foil my flag. Okay, opponent at eight. We don't need no tokens or fancy new cards. We got old school mid range life gain crusader. Dark Guardian, yep. yep, yep, yep. Okay. And another word wall, huh? So Yeah, double scaven, not not great. Uh, let's say I double scaven over here. I push two more damage through. He goes to three. Obviously, double scavening over here is like an awful, awful play. But it opens this up to Leaf Lurker and leaves me with what? Double scavens? Let's do this. Let's play Hive Defender. So now we can resurrect Giant Bat and slam it into this. Which is not great. Scout Scout's ahead. report. Now he still can. Oh, wait. No, he hasn't played a single... Okay. I thought he had already resurrected one Giant Bat. Throws that in the bin. 
recognizes the futility of his life. And Tyr takes it home. What I like about this deck over the warrior deck that's popular right now is the life gain package. It's a little slower, but I think it's great. Not in this matchup, but in general. It's just I'm really feeling this deck, so I'm going to do one more game with it. It's getting late. It's already 9.40 here. I need to edit this video and put it out there. Uh, Sandra Knight got a Nintendo Switch recently. I believe she's playing it right now. Oh, I think she fell asleep. Okay. Magic Matrix. This was the... Uh, I was going to make a Magic Mike and Matrix joke, but I just I couldn't put it together in time. Um, Magic Matrix is playing Monk. They're the listener. They're rank 4. We have the ring. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. I don't know what I'm playing against. Hand could be bad, hand could be good. They kept two cards. It says to me, aggressive deck, but it also might not be. I'm going to play the Protector of the Innocent. I just want to get damage out there. Goblin Skulk. Oh, man, Execute. Morkul Gatekeeper. Man, I will take a Morkul Gatekeeper and hope I get lucky in this prophecy. Sweet. So now he needs to execute to get the value he wants off his Goblin Skulk. Or Curse, I guess. But then I can Skaven. Sure. So now I can Rapid Shot Skaven. Which is pretty nice. I swing. I Skaven Pyromancer. Okay, two Goblin Skulks down. And we're ahead by ten. Although he has... Seven cards in hand. Elder Gleam Matron. Do I cloud rest that? Or do I get Reeve on board? I'm I'm gonna cloud rest it. A little distraction might as long as I draw up, I'll kill you you Taking advantage of cloud rest for good trades, I think, is I mean this is not an aggro deck, right? Like you can play pretty aggressively, but I think you got you have to play as you know responsibly as necess as possible. What do we know about his deck so far? It's not a singleton deck. I'm I'm in the zone. I'm pumped. I mean, I look. I don't play a lot of really strong decks on the channel anymore, and uh, like straightforward strong decks. This is a straightforward strong deck. Sure, I'm just pushing all his face damage. Uh, or. And I'm, again, I'm faced with a question about responsibility. I mean, 11, like, I can push so much damage and get Reeve on board. He would have to trade with this. I think we are so far ahead, we just try to, we just try to close the game out. As long as I draw breath, behold my power. Let me kill for you. Okay. You swing, you swing. Doesn't look good for you. How do we lose here? Giant we'll bat. Phalanx exemplar is good. Phalanx exemplar means he's not dead. Oh wait, no, he might still be. You're gonna curse the mortal guardian. Shadow Mare. <laughs> okay, well, you're not dead. Okay. Rapid Shot. Does Rapid Shot matter? If I Rapid Shot, I can't play both of these, so... No Rapid Shot. Okay. I just need to hit him for one. <laughs> We got Magic Matrix. Bless us, kind. May we serve you with every word. Sure. You can't really leave Reeve alive, though. Yeah. I mean, you're dead on board. They'll never get the best of us. 
All right. You won't foil my flag. So look, this deck is still really, really strong. Yeah, good game, man. Um, the changes are just kind of small things that I thought were appropriate for the ladder. I added in Cradle Crush Giant, which I think is real good. I replaced Piercing Javelin with Casting at a Time, which makes our prophecy count lower. And sometimes I wish that I had those prophecies, but... Look, I started today in the, uh... In Serpent Rank 5, because... When I'm not recording my games, I'm, I'm doing even dumber stuff than I, than I, uh... Than I do on the channel. But... It's a deck to watch, deck to keep in mind. I'll see you all on the ladder. Bye-bye.